Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom thumbnail that you can put on YouTube. I'm just going to note that you do need to be verified to use, to apply, I guess, the uh, thumbnail, but yeah, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay, so you want to you want to click on the link in the video description below it's this it will take you to aman for the total but okay um yeah just just wait for it there we go now you want to hit create a new image we did this it's gonna be one thousand two hundred I'm pretty sure and then this is eight hundred I'm pretty sure and you want to click transparent you can name it anything you want I'm gonna name it tutorial yeah okay now you should get this screen right here Maybe, now you may be asking, how do you, um, how do you, um, how do you get the thingies? What you're going to want to do is, want to do this, and create a new tab, you want to search with, um, a background. So, I'm going to do sun, first, back, round. Okay, let's do images. Let's do this. I'm gonna do this one. Wait for it. There we go. Hey, hello. There we go. Okay. One hit. You want to hit view image. Okay. You want to right click. Hit save image as. Now I already have this. Because the first attempt of creating this video failed. Let's hope this one doesn't. What you're going to want to do is you can rename it like. Blue sunburst. I'm using one hand right now for some reason. Now, now you can name it. I already have it, as you can see right here. Same thing, JPG. And then once you have that, go back into online photo editor. Open and hit, open, go into file, open image. Now you want to do this. You want to click on the background you just got. Hit open. Now this is... Now, you, now, yeah. now what you're going to want to do. You want to hit control A. Control C. Now once you do that. Click the, the regular thing. Hit control V. And it should paste it. Now, if you want, like, a cursor or, like, a play button or something, all you have to do is search it. If you want to do this, you want to go into, let's say, uh, let's do a YouTube transparent. You want, you want to make sure you have transparent after it. Okay? Hang on one second. Okay, sorry about that, but but you but you do want to search transparent. Now, what you want is some is just a plain white background. If you get something like 
this, you're gonna see the uh, white and black dots built, um, yeah, you're gonna see the white and black dots, uh, around it, the, not dots, squares, whatever, um, some of them, like this one, if you hit view image, which I do, you don't, you can hit, you can right click it and do thingy and new tab, open image and new tab, but I do it this way. Uh, yeah, some of them will take you to a page like this. You don't want that. What you want is something that if you click on it and hit view image, you want something that will do this. See? Now it may seem like this is this has a polka dot background and stuff. But once you right click it and hit save image and that stuff, once you go into here, hit file, again, open image, wait for it, there you go, now once you do that, it's gonna, see, there's no white background. Now what, now what you're gonna want to do is hit, is you want to open it, you want to do the same thing as last time, you want to hover over it, hit control A, control C, click on the actual, the regular background, now hit control V, now see, you have a play button, now if you want to move it, you can just use this thing, see, move it. Now, do note that you do want to name these, so you want to do, like, YouTube logo. See? And hit. And this can be background. Okay. Now, once you do that, say you want, like, something clicking on it. Oops. Um. <laughs> that was a mistake. So you want to move it, oh yeah, um, you do want to have the thing that you want to move selected, like if I clicked, if I had background selected, and I tried to move the play button, it would only move the, um, background. So what you want, is you want the YouTube logo, and, um, you want to select the YouTube logo, or whatever you want to select, to move it. So yeah, once you do that, if you say you want, um, like a cursor to hover over or something, you search cursor, um, cursor, transparent, here we go, same thing, click on images, select one that you want, then you do the same process, go here, file, open image, hang on, there we go, okay, um, select uh, the thingy, this is the thumbnail, right, the, the thing right here, this is going to be the thumbnail of the video, hopefully. I just select it, hit open, now you do the same thing, control A, control C, click on this, control V, now that you got this, it's too big right, you, you want it small, hit, click on edit, free transform, Hold shift, grab a corner, and shrink it. Now, now just move it. Now if you want to rotate it, you can. You just hover over in the right spot, rotate it. It'll show up as a thing, as you can see right there. That's my mouse. There you go. Hit yes to save changes. And there you go. Now say you want to add a text to this. Click. You can change the color if you want. I'm not going to. 
want us uh, I'm gonna say tutorial. Okay, I can change the font. I'm gonna do um ah. Uh, Okay, sorry. Then you can just click this. You can do this, make it big and stuff. That should be good. Now you can click this, move it around. Now, if you can't go into here, hit free transform, and you can't move it. Now I'm gonna show you how to do that. You wanna hit Rathbus? I can't say it. Layer on the thingy. Now, if you go into here and hit free transform, now, I don't know what that is, um, but now you have this, um, okay, now you have this, now you can move it and stuff, or rotate it, make it bigger, okay, now you're gonna wanna add, uh, well, don't have to, but, I'm gonna add thumbnail. Thumbnail. Oops. Under it. Style bold. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller than the other thing. Oops. And I'll do this. This. I'm gonna make that a bit small. Like this will do. There we go. A shortcut to getting to the cursor is just to hit V. It works. Okay, so now that you got this, um how you actually save it if you wanna hang on actually one second and then boom. okay sorry about that come on no okay just have to check okay so now that you got this how you save it is you click on file you wanna go into you wanna click save you can do pixel cloud or something if you're signed in and stuff. I prefer my computer. It's the selection. You can name it. Now, um, you can leave that if you want. Do 100. Now you can click OK. There. <laughs> Okay, now that you got that, you can name it again, I guess, if you want. Then we can hit save. Okay, I already have one of those. So I can't do it, so I can't handle it if I want to overwrite it. Okay. Now once you do that, how are you gonna actually um oh god how are you actually gonna um apply the thing I'm just gonna click Y oh sorry Blech. you know what I mean Okay, um, you're gonna actually add it is you're gonna need to have a video, click upload, well this is just how you would, um, 
think that wasp is trying to kill itself. <laughs> Um, you can't actually see it, but, uh, okay. I'll just leave it to it. Okay, I'll just leave it to it killing itself. <laughs> Okay, so you just want to select a video. I've actually sp split this thing up into multiple things. So I'm just going to click on this. Because it's one of the things I did. Okay. Now you want to hit. Open, I guess. Y'all. Um. This is actually going to be a thing that I use. So this is just. So I guess you could say this is a behind the scenes thing. Okay, so. I'm going to do. Uh, thumbnail. Tutorial. Um, uh, hashtag one, there, make this private, there, there you go, well, okay, now, I have a extend, extend, extension, I don't know why I couldn't say that, but what you want to do, again, you have to be verified. I, actually, I don't even know if I said that before. But you do have to be, be verified. Okay, so you want to click custom thumbnail. Click custom, thumb, custom thumbnail. There. Wouldn't work for me. Wait for it. Okay, so now, once you got your, uh, thingy, do this, hit open, you can open up your thumbnail, by the way, I am using Chromebook, Chrome OS, then once you do that, it's gonna show up here, you can hit download image or change image, that's how you know, and uh, you scroll up here, and that's how you know it's actually working. Now I hit done. Done, done, there. There we go. What the? I have no idea what this um, extension did, but I'm not going to question it. I'm really not. But anyways, you're just going to do that. Yep, it's now ready and stuff. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.